Hey, what is happening, y'all? You are back with the Real PG for another Prize Picks NBA video for Monday, October the 31st. Happy Halloween, everybody. If I could get you to smash that like button today, looking for over 100 likes, guys. Let's make it happen. If you've not yet subscribed, get subscribed to the channel, guys. Big things are happening. If you're not in the Discord, it's very important that you get in the Discord. It is literally the extension of the YouTube page. Tons of people in there at this point, full of great plays. It's the place to be. And last but not least, and definitely most important, the VIP Patreon group launches at midnight tonight. Please get signed up, guys. Um, those of you in Discord, and most of you on YouTube already know the value being brought. So I don't think I need to say any more. Uh, one important note, if you plan on doing top tier, you have to get into my free Discord so that I can get you into the private Discord because that's what you're paying for for the $25. You're paying for that private Discord, and that's going to be the most helpful part of everything to you. So you need to make sure you join the free Discord, and once you sign up, hit me up and be like, hey, I signed up. This is my name. I need to get added to the private Discord. I'll check it. Boom, get you added. Tomorrow is going to be a day of technical hiccups, getting everyone trying to get added. I'm going to make sure I have plays out for everyone. But for those of you in the private Discord, tomorrow is going to be about making sure everyone gets in there. And then we'll go from there. So let's get to these plays, guys. I feel pretty good about tonight. So we're going to be starting with Kyrie Irving. And we're going to be looking at his points. Kerry comes in at 29 and a half points tonight. He has hit four of the last five games and hit 27 the game he did not get there. If we take a look on Pinnacle at Kyrie's line. So Kyrie Irving comes in at a splendid one minus 159 to the over, plus 119 to the under at 28 and a half points. Price picks is so graciously bumped it to 29 and a half per usual. I will still take it. Next, we're gonna stay in that game. Oops. And we are gonna be taking a look at none other than Tyrese Halliburton. So I think his PRA is the best look as the lines have changed today. I had his points highlighted earlier too, but PRA has a minus 143 to the over, plus 109 to the under. The points is back down to minus 121 to the over, minus 108 to the under. So PRA looks to be the play for Halliburton. So let's go ahead and throw Halley in to the plays. And for his PRA at 34.5, Locker in. Next, gonna be looking at Keegan Murray. So I got a couple looks for Keegan Murray. So I like his points to the over, okay? Two games he's had 16 and he's missed by the hook. Every other game he's hit. So let's look at Keegan Murray's line before we go any further. So, sorry. So let's get down to Keegan Murray and look at this. So he's minus 144 to the over 16 and a half. Price picks has not got to bump that line yet, plus 109 to the under. So it's a very good line. So he is expected to go over for the points. So let's look at the first half, though, guys. If we look at the first half <coughs> for Keegan Murray and we look at his points at 8.5, he has hit this every single time. Like I said, he's only hooked short on the full game, but he has gotten there every single time by at least a point and a half. So I like the first half look. He has also cleared his PRA every single game so far on here. I prefer the points just because the PRA is at a plus 101. The points is at minus 144 huge difference so the points are where you want to be today so whether you want to take first half or full game is completely up to you 
um, just because I have so many shares of first half already and I'm going to submit this card, I'm going to play the full game look just in case he doesn't get there in the first half, even though, I, like I said, I have a lot of him first half already. So this is just to make sure I am spreading myself a little thinner. Um, okay, so we're going to stay in that game. And we're going to look at De'Aaron Fox. And De'Aaron Fox today. Quickly peep something. Okay. De'Aaron Fox. And his PRA comes in at minus 142 to the over, plus 106 to the under. His points come in at minus 141 to the over, plus 108 to the under. Basically, identical line, points and PRA. The points are set at 25.5. Let's check what prize picks has. 25.5. PRA is 36.5. So it's the same both ways. He's hit his points four of the last five games. We can't look at his PRA. But he did hit it because he had 13 rebounds last game. So the rebounds made up for the points. I played PRA and hit. I know a lot of people played points and got duped. His assists have been averaging, and his assist line today is insane also. So if we look at his assist line, it comes in at minus 179 to the over 5.5. So really, that's the play you should be taking. But I can't, I can't take that play. Like he's missed three out of the five games. I can't take that. So because of that, though, it makes me want to take PRA because the assist line. Say he does get ten assists tonight. I want that. I want those. You know, and the rebounds. He's had five or more every game. So I definitely want those, despite what the line on the rebounds is, which is plus one hundred seven over five and a half. So he probably gets five again. Um, so if we assume five rebounds and we assume he does hit this over and he gets seven assists, that's 12. He hits the points at 25, that's 37. That clears his PRA even if his points short on the hook. So that's a look that you can decide on. And then I have two more plays that I like. Uh, these are my four core picks, though, guys. Kyrie Irving, Tyrese Halliburton. Or Kyrie's points, Halliburton PRA, Keegan Murray's points, either first half or full game, your choice. De'Aaron Fox, points or PRA, full game, your choice. The lines are identical. So the two I'm looking at, just based on some other factors, first half, Bogdanovich. If we look at his points, he's at four of the last five, and he was only short by the hook the one time he missed. If we look at his PRA, He's cleared it every time with flying colors. So let's take a look at his fantasy score, same thing. If we take a look at his line, um, this is what makes me a little skeptical. I did play the PRA in one look just because it's hard not to. He's 5 for 5. So his points are plus 109 over 18 and a half. Minus 144 under 18 and a half. So points aren't the play you'd want today. His PRA comes in at minus 115 to the over, minus 115 to the under. So it's a coin flip. So again, it's not a play I would ever recommend. That's not a play I'd recommend, but this is hard to turn down. So if you like that and you want to take that chance, it's up to you. It's a good look, I think, but... Vegas says otherwise. Last play is going to be Laurie Markkinen. Oops, we're not looking at his first half. We're looking at his full game. So let's take a peek at Laurie quick, and then I will get you guys on your way so you can get these in. Laurie Markkinen. So Markkinen comes over. Okay, at... On his points at 19 and a half, same as on prize picks, minus 139 to the over, plus 104 to the under. Pretty nice line. His PRA at 29.5. Let me check prize picks. It's the exact same, 29.5. The line is a little bit better at minus 142 to the over, plus 107 to the under. So you could look either way, points or rebounds again. Um, full game. 
I don't do five man cards, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to put five in just because it hit yesterday when I did that. So we'll try it again. We're going to go with his PRA because I really like his rebounds. I want those. Um, his points have been looking good. He's hooked. No, he's came short by two and a hook, and he's came short by five and a hook. And then he's hit three other times. So I want these rebounds. I think those are important to have in his line if he does come up short on the point side again. Um, fantasy looks just like his PRA. That's going to be generally how it is. So, again, that's a lean. Maybe I'm not going to have that in there. Let me see if I have any of these exact lineups. Kyrie, Tyrese, De'Aaron, Murray. I don't because I played Murray first half, but I have the exact same combination with the first half right there, as you can see. I also did play Bogdanovich PRA first half, like I said I did, um, with Kyrie. So you can see I'm strong on Kyrie. I did play Bogdan's points this morning, too. That line went south on me. It's a tough matchup, too, in Milwaukee. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think Milwaukee's going to let Cade just, like, go walk all over him. So I think it's going to be the secondary pieces that get it done. That's why I do like Bogdanovich, despite his line. So I did take some shots at him, but these were early this morning. These were at noon, so they were not early this morning, but they were five hours ago. This is my most recent stuff right here. So you see where I'm at. I'm going to send this, even though it's almost identical. It is a full game line here on... You know what? Whatever. Let's just, just because I have no Markkinen yet, we're going to just pull Key and Murray, and we're going to play Markkinen instead because I have a ton of his shares. You know, you know what? Screw that. We're going to play all of them because I really like Key and Murray today. I feel like if anyone on this card is screwing me, it's going to be Markkinen, but he's been solid, so... Um, whatever, we'll do it for 10 just because I don't like marketing very much. If I had to take anyone out, it would be him and Bogdanovich, like I said. I'm rolling with those four, but I'm going to give you the six again. I got Halliburton PRA to the over, Kyrie points to the over, Fox points or PRA to the over, Murray points or PRA to the over. Um, actually, let me look at his PRA line before I say that. Make sure it has not shifted. For Murray. It's Keegan Murray we're talking about. It's Keegan Murray's PRA. Yeah, don't take the PRA. Keegan Murray's points are the only play to the over. And so, again, Halliburton PRA, Kyrie points, Fox points or PRA, Murray points, Keegan Murray points at half or full game, your choice, and then on two leans, I had Bogdanovich, PRA, first half, Markinen points or PRA, full game. I wish you the best of luck if you're tailing tonight, guys. Please sign up for the Patreon. It means the world to me to see the support you guys have been showing. Join the free Discord if you can't get in the Patreon right away. But I set the prices so that every last one of you can afford it. Every single one of you in my Discord group right now can afford it. You know, off of the last 48 hours, you've tenfolded your investment easy. So at midnight, go ahead and start signing up, guys. Again, top tier is going to be limited. I don't know how many people yet. We're going to see how it goes. We're going to probably be somewhere between 50 and 100 is going to be the cap, though. And already before the first, when the sign-up was supposed to start, I already have seven in there, I believe. So it's going to go quick. So get in the Patreon. I'm not trying to hype it up. But, again, the YouTube videos are going to become more short form. And I'm not going to be in the free Discord for more than about a half hour to an hour a day. So I'm not going to be able to help you much. If you want direct contact to me, you're going to need to be in the top tier. If you want just the plays and like my favorite cards and things of that nature, you're going to want to be in the other tiers if you don't need the contact with me. So again, you, links will be in the description for the free Discord, which you have to be in if you want top tier because I need you in the free Discord to get in the private Discord, remember so again, links in the description for everything. The Patreon page explains the difference between all the tiers. If you have any questions, please ask me first before you do anything. 
it's technically it's already a mess over at Patreon, and I'm trying to get through it. So bear with me, guys. It's going to be the first month, first couple of days of the first month. It might be some hiccups, but you know we're going to make it happen. We always do. So this community has been nothing but awesome since day one. Let's keep it that way, guys. And let's do this shit in style. Until the next one, peace.